Finally, OPM Pastor Chibuzo Chinyiri has reacted to the viral and trending video of a young girl that called him out over an illicit affair he had with her that resulted her to getting pregnant for this pastor. At the end of the video, guys, let us know if this is reaction is really reactioning. If this is excuse is really excusing because I am not understanding this anymore. With that being said, guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In case you're watching for the first time, this is just reaction and analysis. Thank you for tuning in. Please do me that favor by doing exactly what you see on your screen. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Very important. So always get notified anytime I drop new videos. Guys, like, share, comment. And to my tiny subscribers, you guys are the real MVPs. So he's said i have been reading comments on social media posts concerning the allegation against opm and i see so many people blaming the happy boys that was sent by apostle chibuzo g chinyere to cyprus they are not responsible for this black and melon there is a supposed doctor in u.s that called that the opm demanding for one million dollars from him or his group will fight me we will fight him rather he said they operate in west africa europe america and made a list of some prominent nigerians that has settled them apostle as a man whose passion is to help the less privileged and put smiles on faces on people's faces would rather use that money to bless more lives because that is what will make god happy First, they recruited the happy boys, then fabricated news about late Miss Deborah's family, which all turned out to be fake. This said person is busy bringing up strategies and recruiting people against the man of God, promising to relocate them and their families to America, that him and his team are in partnership with Simmons University USA. We reached out to the President Simmons University and sadly they confirmed that they don't know him. This same man promised to connect the happy boys to the president of Cyprus and take them to America. That's the reason the happy boys said OPM abandoned them and refused to flight and refused the flight tickets that was bought for them. If they need help, Apostle would generously help them. But trying to gain through black and melee will not work. The offerings and tithes are for the work of God and to help the less privileged. And he will never stop or be discouraged. Ha! This is well, this is excuse, eh? I beg. I don't know if I'm the only one finding this funny. That lady. This lady that came out and laid that allegation against this man did not wear a mask. She came out with her full chest, with her face showing. Okay, now let's assume that the girl is lying. Huh? But remember, in every lie, there must be atom of truth. See, eh? in all that this girl said, there is no how that one or two she said will not be true my only concern about this girl is that hope she knows that freedom of speech is free in niger but freedom after speech is not guaranteed on that note hope she has her evidence hope before she came out to do this she has her backup her evidence or evidences are intact with that being said guys the easiest way to know the simple truth is for the both parties to run a dna test and some people should stop blaming the happy boys because i don't see these happy boys correlating with the issue on ground here and least i forget in my previous video i blamed this girl and the pastor and some people are like, why, why, why blaming the girl is very, very insensitive of me to blame the girl. This, da, da, da. this girl had been having a sexual intercourse with this pastor since 2019 till God knows when, before she came out and, and start confessing. The thing is, <laughs> if not for the pregnancy, are we sure this girl was going to come out with this? That's just the big question. She was not forced. Uh-huh. Even if she was forced for the first time, a woman that is forced for the first time will still go back again and see how the same thing do with the pastor for the second time, third time, 
four times guys we are talking about since 2019 on um, 2019 do you know how many rounds of how many rounds of equal critical rounds of sex if i don't have since that 2019 till now that she has come out to no no now let's be reasonable in as much as i blame the pastor at least he's a body of christ he shouldn't have done what he did uh let alone of doing it to someone that he he helped you know Ah, a dependent now. No, now. Both of them were having an affair. Mm-hmm. And they were doing it without protection. Uh-huh. According to the girl, she said, she told the pastor, if it results to pregnancy, she's not going to terminate it. Hence the reason why she is doing what she is doing. Hmm. Guys, eh, just take a closer look at this press statement. I'll be press release. Released by this um, Pastor Chibuzo. You see, he did not address the issue on ground. Did he impregnate the girl or he did not? Was there an illicit affair between him and the girl? He did not address that one. The girl don't bump Pekila. Has she given birth to a baby for him or not? He did not address that one. He was busy gallivanting around the whole the whole thing, calling happy boys, happy boys this, happy boys that. How the how some people wanted to use them and black and melin him, something like that. And I'm like, what the what the guys? This one not be waiting there on ground now. This one not be the issue. Happy boys don't come. Their own their own chapter don't go. Pastor, address the damn situation on ground. You do a be you know do. Period. If he did it, he should humble himself before the congregation ask for forgiveness, confess his sins, go be, go in his closet and ask God for forgiveness. You know, there are ways to sanctify and purify oneself. It may not be an easy task, but at least the presence of the Holy Spirit matters. His relationship with God matters than that of a human being. Heaven is his target. I've been mean, at earth, not be on target. Let's be realistic, guys. See, with no sentiments there, eh? you see this case, this man and this woman, both of them, I go blame them till day 99. Moral lesson, human beings should stop idolizing their pastors. They are human beings just like you and I. The difference there is that anytime they recognize that they have sinned, they go in their closet and, and ask for forgiveness, be in a good relationship with God. Don't be too comfortable with your male pastors, even your female pastors. Don't be too comfortable with them. Because, my dear, the thing in between their legs is see they work. And these are how people reacted. I never believed the girl. You have been sleeping with a married pastor since 2019 without condom. Your morals allowed it. You didn't deem it fit to call him out. He reached when you go reap the fruits of your adulterous art. You rejected the money and started calling out calling him out because your morals and principles couldn't take it true <laughs> then the last but not the least guys so many reactions so people really reacted but i got to take this last one because i don't want to make this video longer than it is this person said the reality is don't help nobody again because poor people are evil at heart once their helpers stop helping them don't negotiate with the poor um now flat you flat and you be human being then they crazy those happy boys are sadist and nemesis must reach them surely well this proves what i suspected too sad coming from i am king george and this one said made by grace i be made great by grace helping ungrateful people is the worst thing that could ever happen to anyone facts and as much as we human beings are helping some people. We should also not attach any condition to the help. Mm -hmm. Cause even if they submit because they have no choice or they had no choice, then one day, one day they will come out and use that help against you. Not because they wanted, they, not because they want to um, use the help against you, but because of what you did to them, because of the help you rendered to them when they were helpless. That is just it. With that being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. And in case you're watching for the first time, like I said before, this is just reaction and analysis. Please, guys, I beg in the name of God, remember to give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell, so always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. See you. Eh? 
your subscription is not complete without you turning on your notification bell so that you will get notified anytime i drop new video or videos on this channel with the art we analyze we give trending to celebrity news true crime and true crime stories that's my only subscribers of course you guys are the real mvps love you guys to the moon and back bye bye for now as i'm signing out for my next one peace out i love you all kmsc and bye